RuneScape is a game all about setting goals for yourself, whether it's becoming a great PKer, unlocking all items on an Iron Man, or completing the Inferno. It is a journey you make it to, and my journey for the next couple of weeks is completing every single quest in this game. I have missed out on the possibility to use so many different weapons, so many different areas, and so many stories RuneScape have to offer. And I hope you are as interested as I am in completing the game of RuneScape. Hope you enjoy. I decided to start off by completing Fremnic Exiles for the upgraded Nessie helmet. And we have an upgraded helm. Why does my beard show on the bottom? Which is very, very ugly. This is not nice. All right, the beginning of another storyline, Morning's End Part 1 completed. This was not a fun quest, but Morning's End Part 2 completed. Song of the Elves have been completed. Uh, this unlocks so much potential for my account. Yeah, this unlocks so much for this account. Pretty wild I haven't completed this until today. Ooh, I can catch Crystal Limplings, probably. Never mind, I take that back. One major thing, I can now do the gauntlet. No, oh, wait, what? Oh, what happened? No! <laughs> All right, the gauntlet sucks. After completing the quest Song of the Elves, which was the main quest I wanted to complete, I just started going on a questing spree. Corsair Curse, completed. That's Mistle and Mystery, completed. X marks the spot, completed. Completed, 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 completed. Another very important quest completed, A Taste of Hope. For the Dragon's Medallion, we can teleport now to... Theater of Blood. I haven't been able to do that before. And we get a Tome of Experience for a Geode. Beautiful. There we go. Sins of the Father have been completed. We can now use the medallion fully. Teleport to Dark Mare. And we're gonna get an Agility level, hopefully. Yep, one Agility level, 75 Agility. Beautiful. And after completing the very important Sins of the Father quest, we went on another questing spree. Rat catchers completed. The throne of miscellanea completed. 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 I don't care what anyone says. The worst quest in RuneScape is Dragon Bone Man number two. Worst quest in the game. This. Oh my god, I got a bone sack. Definitely not worth it. And that's Queen of Thieves completed. We only have one quest left now, and that's a Kingdoms Divided. Who would have thought that I would reach this stage in the game? A Kingdom of Divided have been completed. Not a single quest left. And we are done. We are actually done. Every single teleport have been unlocked. Every single area have been unlocked. And I can access every item, every location in the game. What a journey. What a journey. Can I buy a quest point cape? There you go. What? It has a tel- Ooh, it has a teleport. Didn't even know that. Alright, we are here. What emote do we get? I get that. Oy, we did it. We did it. Quest cape have been unlocked. Successfully unlocked. Oh, that feels great. We got an antique lamp. Straight on room crafting. Boom. 10k. So my plan right now that I have completed the quest cape is to start PKing with the bow of Ferdinand. It comes to a price of 158 mil which I can't really afford right now. So after doing some corrupt gauntlet, hoping I would get that one in 400 drop, but I ended up not getting it. I did around 20 kill count of corrupt gauntlet, got a total of 2.3 mil in loot. Um, so I decided to sell everything and sell items from my bank and just buy the bow straight away. We have the body, we have the legs, and we have the bow. We are ready to attempt to PK. The goal is just getting one kill. That's all I want. One kill. As soon as I school up, I will be risking 70 mil. Yikes. Big hit. And he's dead. Oh my god. This bow is so strong. This is the first person I've seen, and he... Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? It's the fake one. Anyone wanna fight? Who of these people? I wanna fight myself. Oh, I killed myself. Oh, whoa. 
Dude, what? I should have brought a looting bag. Step number one, I need to bring a looting bag. <laughs> oh my god. No way that just happened. 13 mil plus the fury, that's maybe 14, 15 mil. And that, that's karma for having my name. And that's pretty much where we're gonna stop PKing. I did PK for another 5 to 10 hours, but the wilderness is just so dead these days. It took me around 1 hour to find someone, and then it wasn't even guaranteed to get the kill or die. Uh, so I just quit after 5-10 hours of PKing, but I only got that one good kill. However, there is something big coming to the game right now, and that is combat achievements for the game. This is actually massive, and once again, I need to complete my account, especially now that combat achievements are out. And in short, combat achievements is basically smashing out tasks one by one until you have completed all of them. There's a total of 400 tasks according to this picture right here. So we're just gonna do as many as possible. And if we complete all of their tasks, we might get a reward. The easy combat tasks were very simple. They had tasks such as kill a hellhound, do barrels with only magic, kill 10 Seracnus, kill Ober in free to play, do some winter todd, do the moss giant boss and stuff like that. Very very basic. You have completed all combat achievement tasks in the easy tier. You can now claim your reward at Gomal. And we get an antique lamp. Uh, which gives us 5k experience and we have gotten a Gomal's Hilt. It doesn't give any stats though, but it has a teleport to Trollheim. Ooh, that's a nice animation and we are here. And we can use this teleport three times every single day. Now that I have done all the easy tasks, I'm looking at the Grandmaster task because those are the most flexible ones to do. And this Solar one looks pretty easy, right? 54 seconds, I feel like I can do that. What's the time? 1.29, okay, we gotta improve a lot. I was told that if I use a harmonized orb, it's gonna be extremely easy to complete the Grandmaster task for Zolra speedrunning, 56 seconds. Uh, so I'm borrowing one bill from my bounty. Uh, don't kill me. Oh, here we go. Two big hits. Three big hits. Four big hits. Five big hits. All right, we need a good spawn. Please be a good spawn. All right. Alright, wait, you're still hitting? Oh my god. This could be the one. This could be the one. Is that a kill? Oh my god, this was so good. What's the time? 0 0.52. We did it. Master combat task completed. Grandmaster combat task completed. Master combat. Task completed. Perfect Sora. What's a perfect Sora? Oh my god, we did it. We got a total of 43 kills to complete that Grandmaster task and I'm super happy. Let's sell the harm before we lose more money on it. There's a Grandmaster task of completing Jad in 26 minutes and 30 seconds. I think this is very doable, but you need a Slayer task to actually complete it. And I don't really have the Slayer points to spend. I, I got the time 28 minutes and 40 seconds, but I, I messed up so much. I didn't have enough Black Chin Chompas as well. But this will be very doable in the future. Alright, we're gonna move on to Vorkat for a bit. We do have some Grandmaster tasks for Vorkat, and I'm gonna focus solely on speedrunning. That's what I find the most fun. 54 seconds, is this possible? I started off with a very basic Vorkat killing gear, full void with the Dragon Hunter crossbow into the best in slot melee gear with the Dragon Claws. But after a bit I got tired of this, I decided to switch it up, bring a Banos God Sword and full DH. Big. One more. That's a big hit. Oh my god, this is good. One big hit. Alright, Lost, we need you to do your best here. Alright, we might have to pull out the DH to make this happen. Can you, can you hit? Can you hit? Maybe not? Come on, last hit. Phew, that's a quick one. This is a really quick kill. How quick? <gasps> 0 52, we did it without the DH. We actually did it. Oh my god, I'm so happy we actually did it. Imagine if I could get 
even quicker, 0 52. Vorkat, they wanted 54 seconds, I did it in 52. But I actually think I can do it in 49 even, if I get the RNG. I did some investigations and I discovered that the world record for killing Vorkat's the fastest is 37 seconds by the reddit user of the name Corpse Slayer. Corpse Slayer used some crazy strategies to be able to pull this off in combination with some great RNG. I feel like this record is possible to beat with the right RNG. And if this is something you want to see me go for, give this video a like. And besides that, I will be heading off for the weekend, so uh, the next video might be slightly delayed, maybe in two weeks. So I will see you then. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.